liberal celebrities come out to once again tell us what's right and what's wrong. What we should do is we should all give a massive, massive round of applause and give Boris a message that we all support a fair pay rise for our front line. Yeah, so if you do win an award tonight, don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So, if you win, right, come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your god. And this was only a couple of years ago when Ricky Gervais came on TV to tell his friends, his celebrity friends, to stop lecturing the public. Last night at the Brits Awards, we had Dua Lipa, who is quite popular these days, and everyone knows that since 2016, a lot of the liberal celebrities in the UK started to come out to lecture us about social issues, cultural issues, whether it's on the environment, whether it's on Brexit, the European Union. Even though this is a, such an American mentality, because we've had it from Hollywood celebrities, Americans, going around, especially every four years in America, uh, telling the public uh, in the US that, oh yeah, you have to vote Democrat, not Republican, because they're evil. We never had this issue really in this country. We always had a couple of uh, random celebrities very quietly uh, supporting either Labour or Tories. I mean, you only had a couple of people supporting the Tories in terms of publicly uh, as celebrities, but it was normal at the time. It's getting worse and worse. The problem I have is, okay, first, Julia Lippo is talking about um, the NHS. This debate has been going on for a while now, whether the, the government should give more money to frontline. This isn't really about that because, fine, the content on what she talks about, fine, it's great. I would rather if our NHS frontline workers uh, work under better circumstances, better service, uh, especially as their employer is absolutely terrible, the NHS, um, and also, yeah, better pay, why not? But let's have a proper grown-up debate in terms of how to achieve that, rather than uh, what people like her do, even though she was directly talking to Boris Johnson, they are not targeting politicians, they are targeting people who are watching it, they're targeting their fans and everybody else. They try to persuade them, brainwash them, and then use them in, in this mob mentality to then take on the streets and then uh, cause chaos. That's what they've been doing for a long time and that's what's going to continue. And people forget their fans forget that these people are not angels. Far from it. Um, there's the double standards in everything they say and they do. We saw recently uh, that uh, Joe Lippa, who is very much in favor of all these lockdown measures and also she loves the, the NHS, she was going around promoting the stay at home message and criticizing anyone who left their home twice for the second jug of the day. He actually was actually traveling around the world. She was jetting around, she went to Mexico uh, during the, the actual the height of this whole problem, and yet she's fine. You can't criticize her because she goes on TV, gets drunk, and says nice things. Oh yes, let's care about our NHS workers. Who doesn't want to care about the NHS workers? And the idiocy, that, because these people are economically illiterate, they don't understand how it, things work. They think that the NHS and nurses and doctors are the same things. They're not. NHS workers, again, nurses, doctors, and other professionals, are not the NHS. The NHS is a logo, it's a political religion, it's a machine, it's the, it's the structure of our healthcare system. Whether it's the, the former, they are the people who are running our healthcare system. Uh, so this debate has been absolutely chaotic. We've seen how it's damaged the Labour Party because people are not stupid in this country. Over the last few years, especially over the last decade, they have realised how Labour politicians have been lying to them about things like the NHS, things like rejoining the European Union, up to a point where this guy, Sikir Starmer, struggled last week in the local elections, and he tried to uh, sack uh, Angela Rayner, basically his number two, uh, couldn't because she's a Corbynist with massive support inside the party, so he accidentally ended up giving her more jobs. And then Boris Johnson, Prime Minister, came out yesterday, <laughs> destroyed her. His friend, the Right Honourable Member for Ashton, underline the Deputy Leader, the Shadow's First Secretary of State, the Shadow Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster, and Shadow Secretary of State for the future of work. Though the more titles he feeds her, Mr Speaker, 
the hungrier I fear she is likely to become. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Judging, judging. <laughs> right, this was during the Queen's speech, uh, and the, the day when we had all the policies coming out. Um, <laughs> I've had my differences with the government, uh, both parties, generally speaking, but that was amazing. Well done, Boris Johnson, for roasting Angela. And actually, we've had the, the reaction from Angela Rayner and Starmer. Not bad, not bad. Uh, but he's right. Starmer has been feeding her fake jobs. One of them is the Secretary of State for Future of Works, I think. She's hungry. She's just going to get hungry and hungry until she gets his job. But this goes back to what we talked about at the beginning in terms of virtue signaling, not understanding how politics or economics works, celebrities. All these Labour politicians who are amateurs, like Andrew Rayner, and everybody else, this is why the Labour Party are going down. And at this point, I'm fine with it because it's their job to fix their own problems. Tony Blair has come out. Yes, he's back again. To talk about why Labour are going to basically just die unless they fix their problems. The problem is, uh, this came out in the New Statesman as a reaction uh, by Harry uh, Lambert uh, because... Obviously, Corbynistas and new statesmen don't like Blair. And so, at first, they're scared. They say, is he planning a return? Not really sure about that. Um, also, try not to listen to Blair that much. That's usually a good advice as well. But he's right. He's talking about how um, Starmer and his party need to be more radical, but also just economically more sensible, understand what we're talking about, and passionate. So, the issue is... He's getting the same criticism from the Corbynistas. The hard left are saying Starmer needs to be radical. Yeah, he needs to have some good policies, left-wing policies and everything else. Both sides are saying the same things from different perspectives, of course. What does that tell you? Who's the problem here? Is it Corbyn? Is it Blair? No, nope, it's Starmer. He needs to realize this. It's not even Angela Rayner or anybody else, Anne Lee's Dodds. It's him. And the more we, the Labour Party continue with him, the more problems we're going to have in this country because Boris Johnson is just going to continue going without being scrutinized or being held to account. And then there might be times when the government will uh, introduce policies that are not really right-wing or left-wing, but all sides will hate because it's going to affect our lives because there's no opposition. On this channel, we'll try our best to be objective and to criticize both sides when needed. So subscribe to the channel and also uh, don't forget, if you're a member of the channel already, if you're not a member, check out the link in the description. Uh, sign up for free to our weekly newsletters. We're going to have a special guest contributor for this week's Sunday's newsletter. Thanks again for watching. I'm Maya TC, and I'll see you guys in the next video.